welcome back to the channel. In today's hunt, we're up in the Regina Mountains once again, uh, working on Mahaley's missions, uh, trying to get two female wolves. And I just heard some sheep. But there's nothing I can do about the sheep right at the moment unless they come trotting this way, because uh, the target is wolves. And I dragged the trusty camouflage jeep all the way up here. Uh, so I could do some jeep stand hunting and uh, around this area is where the wolves snack on the sheep. So it is 1.30 here in Transylvania and the plan is the wind is going that way. The wolves should come from a northeasterly direction. Um, so I'm hoping that they will crest this little hill here to come to their feeding zone. Uh, so the first step of the hunt is to uh, kind of camp out here, do some uh, pretend stand hunting with the jeep. And the rest of the plan, if this fails, and it probably will, uh, is to use some information that Perry S. provided me. He uh, leaves some comments in the YouTube videos and is also on the official Discord. He sent me some pictures of some of the need zones up here. Uh, so I'm going to use some of his info if this doesn't work. Uh, to try and grab a couple more uh, wolf zones. Apparently there's one over here, and there's like one down here or something like that. And there's a, a drink zone I found right here. Apparently a wolves drink at this one, but I ran around that little pond. Uh, so I have to check that out as well. Oh yes, and also remind me, I got to uh, give the results of the poll I did on the channel there about the favorite uh, rifle of the new pack. I got to give that info. Uh, make sure to rem remind me to do that. Okay, so far no wolves, but not quite 3 o'clock yet. Um, I am hearing lots of little cheap and sticks cracking and everything like that. I don't think I'm hearing anything from this group. So a good, almost 500 meters out. Uh, looks like there's some shammies out there. And But I am hearing this group uh, over here. This is the one that I stumbled upon the other day. Where are they? Hard to see. There, they're there. Um, the, the fast travel campsite is over there and you come over this hill and you can't, you can't approach from that direction. So uh, now I can see them for once here. They're still about 300 meters out though. And I don't know if I'm going to take one of them or focus on these wolves. And this is where I'm tempted to practice longer range shots with the the no UI default zeroing kind of thing here. Because it's like 300 meters out. And I think uh, 300 meters is pretty much right in the middle between the dot and the top of that stick of the reticle there. Like right about there is where you shoot. Wind's blowing a little bit to the right. Uh, I think that's. This is the uh, Styro Pro, the 243 one. I'm sort of really tempted to try, but I don't want to mess up any wolves that might be coming in. But with my luck, they're probably not going to come in, so maybe we'll try. Uh, I think one of these guys did look bigger. I'm going to try and figure out which one is the biggest one. I'm going to go for this one here. When he stands back up again. But he's probably going to walk behind this rock. Okay, let's try a shot. I think it's in the middle. Slight wind to the right. Well, it's a hit, but I think it's high. That's the guy there. I have strong doubts that that's a kill shot. Oop. What's the matter there, Jeep? You not happy with that? I'll reload our 243. I'll go check on the blood while I'm waiting for some wolves. So I had located the blood, but I can't locate a second drop. And this is just solid red. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that is going to be not a kill. Um, oh yeah, here it is right here. So I'm that looks like just like the small amount of clear red blood, right? I'm pretty sure. 
so I'd like to get him again so I could see where the shot landed, but I think it was high. Yep, we're going to chalk that up to bad shot. Bad shooting. Um, yeah, I could, I can't, when it's small red blood like that, I can never track it on Ranger. It's just, I just can't find them. Um, I found that one other one, but not any others. Uh, it just kind of like disappears in the grass. Uh, but that's what I have to do. I have to pick like one rifle for this uh, sheep hunting and uh, come up here with it and practice. Since there's no real place to... Like you can practice a 275 meter shot, I guess, from the roof of the Transylvania Lodge. Um, maybe I'll do that or try to get that figured out. Um, I need to be able to do 300 meter shots or so, I think. I guess I can always play it back and see if I can see where the tracer goes. And I don't think I'm going to see any wolves up here. Last time I uh, staked out this uh, feeding zone, no wolves showed up either, so... Uh, they're going to be always going off to wherever their second one is. But I will give it a little more time. I'll jump up on the jeep here. And uh, just do some listening. I mean, I have um, more target practice. Uh, somewhere over here, unless they got up and left. Uh, there were more chamois. I might have spooked them. Uh, the gunshot didn't... Well, no, they're there. They're there, they're there. Uh, yeah, they're almost 500 meters out. I mean, I can go uh, sneak up on them. That's a pretty easy approach there. So I might do that if I give up on these wolves. So just so uh, for fun there, I did play it back. And uh, this is the frame when I pulled the trigger there. So the dot's like right up on his spine. He's close to 300 meters out, so I thought it would drop in. And the wind was blowing to the right, so I thought it would pull it a bit, like right into that lung. Um, but I guess it didn't. And I can't get any more info on the shot uh, because they, the scope went black in the next frame. And then this is the next closest frame, which is just like a blood spot on it with the with the sheep knocked over. So, so much for getting more info on that shot. But uh, I know which hurt it was, so I might come back and see if I can figure out which one it was. It did look like one of the larger males, so I might be able to come back and get them. Uh, but what's the time going here? Yeah, it's almost to 4 o'clock. So those wolves are not going to show up here. Uh, so I might start inching my way towards the group up here. Uh, they're going to be moving out soon, so I might run out of time. Okay, they're starting to move out. They're heading to the left. That's the last one. The trouble now is um, I'm not going to have a shot until I get back up on this ledge. And that'll probably be too close. Uh, the most likely spook by the time I get there. I want to try and do about a 200 meter shot. I don't want to throw uh, your confidence out by doing two bad shots in a row. Okay, at this point I have to slow down. And it's going to take a while to climb up this little slope here. And by the time I get there, they've either going to spooked or probably have moved on. Got to keep the ears open. I've been hearing them bleed at me. And I think... Maybe it's like a bleat they do when they're alerted, so I've been, like that, yeah, I've been pausing. And thank you for bleating, because uh, it got me alerted to your presence here. So I'm, I'm well in range. I'm surprised I got this close. Awesome. All right, I just got to pick one out now. So the 15 time scope is the one I found to be the most... Uh, clearest to do this. Uh, better than binoculars, better than 18 times scope. Uh, so this is the closest thing to a spotting scope I can get to. Uh, I'm having a hard time. That guy is probably a male there. Female, I imagine. Female. That's a male. And I think, so I think there's only two. Um, I don't know. Are uh, chamois called uh, rams? The males? I don't know. I think that's one there. I think the rest are females. Uh, you could be a male as well. I'm not really seeing their horns like stand out. My guess is he's the biggest one. His look about the same though. 
And the encyclopedia says you're looking at their necks and bellies to get the older ones. He doesn't look like that kind of like a roundish belly. Can't see that one. I'm pretty sure these are female. Oh, it's so tricky. That could be a male too. This guy looks wider, right? Yeah, so I think that's a male. That could be, and that is super hard to like identify which one to shoot. I might just be doing this one just because of the angle he's presenting. I guess we'll just do that. Let's get a harvest for the hunt. Make sure we get one here. Now, of course, going to lay down. I'm not going to shoot a laying down one. If I had to guess, the one in the front's the oldest. I don't want to shoot a small one. But I don't think this guy's going to give me an angle. I certainly don't trust the 243 on that kind of shot, or that kind of angle. Especially since I, I don't know for sure. Can you turn a little bit for me? Nah, it's not going to make too much of a difference. See, he does... I think he's the oldest one. There's no way I can hit that shot. He's even glitching up and down a bit. Alright, not going to get greedy. Just going to go collect the one. So I'm going to guess... This is straight double lung. Uh, but... Um, like, I'm going to say, like, younger adult male, right? And definitely not that big, but watch it be a female. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know for sure. He just seemed like he was bigger than the other ones. Uh, let's find out. Alright, here's the shot. Double lung. Perfect. 243 did the job just fine there. Yeah, that is just fine there. And we got a mature male. Well, there you go. Um, so I definitely was correct in uh, thinking he was larger, but I thought they even got like bigger than that. And look at low fit too. Yay, good job. 17%, nice call out of there. So far, so good. 212, and a small little trophy there. I wonder what the really big ones look like. Well, let's sell him. Good, ooh, look at that neon pink blood. Alright, so the plan now to the northwest is a, uh, oh, I'm getting yelled at, is a um, camp zone to unlock. And by that camp zone apparently is a uh, wolf group. That's some need zone. So, oh, there they are there, the guys that just ran away, or just one of them. They all get separated from each other? I guess so. Anyways, they get to run. Oh uh, yeah, I'm going to go unlock that one. I've already checked out this lake earlier for any drink zones. This little pond, I guess. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go unlock that little campsite. And by the time I get there, it'll probably be getting dark. So I'll be able to sleep there. And then maybe spot the wolves at a drink zone in the morning. But here's my question. On the, on the map, a bunch of the wolf need zones are outside of the Regina Mountain territory so do I have to like wait until they're in the territory to harvest them that's uh, what I don't quite get there isn't really many need zones actually in the territory oh wow I really like this part here over this little slope and it's just all downhill into a nice little woodland area there's a nice little lake over here I think one of the wolf drink zones is actually over there oh right finally made it down to uh, this campsite here. I did have a little event. I had uh, Mouflon eating over here. Didn't see them. Spooked them. Uh, no biggie though. And I got to, I think I'm going to rest here till early next morning. And uh, I think there's a little river that runs up here. It doesn't show on the map. Um, but there is some water up here. And I guess there's a wolf need zone. Like a drink zone up here. Uh, so I think I'll try that first. Oh, there's the wolf owl. But it's, I can't pin down a wolf howl with the headphones. I think it was coming from the right. 
It's like the hardest sound to pin down, which I guess makes sense since it's a howl from off in the distance, right? My best guess it was to the right. Oh no, they're right behind me. Okay, I definitely heard that one come from this direction. But that's just where I came from, though. Yes, that's right here. So how on earth... I mean, I guess I could just call them in and hope a female comes in? I'm guessing that's my best bet. But it's really heavy brush, right? Like, right if they, uh... Come in, like, through this direction and I can't even see them? Well. Okay, yeah, that howls. They're definitely right here. Alright, well, uh, there's nothing for it but to try. At least I, I don't think I could see them up on the hill. Alright, I'm going to try calling them in here and have the gun ready. In the position I'm in, I'm not actually sure what else I could do. Um, I mean, I could try to get away from them and see them, but... I think I'd rather take the chance at trying to call them in and just kind of hope a female comes in. So that's what I'm going to try here. Yep, coming right in, right straight ahead. No idea how to tell male from female here. Okay, they're really focused. I don't want to shoot the head here. Oh, here we go. Okay, the first shot would have been too low, but, uh, I mean, that second one should have just nailed it. I'm kind of surprised it didn't drop on that second one. Let's just check out the blood here. Gonna need the flashlight maybe here. Um... Where's the, uh, where's the hit? What? Where is it? Okay, I didn't see where the, the original hit was, but here's definitely pink blood here. Um, oh, it's mixed together. There's the dark red, which was the bad hit, and then there's the bright pink here. Alright, so now, let's do, uh... Follow the jam to find the pie. Oh, he's right here. <laughs> so he didn't make it very far at all. Or she, hopefully she. Um, man, I thought it was a rock. Uh, all right. So uh, let's kind of make sure the mission's active, because it's not. Uh, just in case it is a female, because I have no idea how you'd tell at a distance, right? Uh, let's pick that up. So, oh, first shot, just horrible. <laughs> Horrible first shot. Uh, I mean, I was just trying to get underneath. Uh, like you're you're at this angle, right? And you're trying to get the lungs, which you can't. You gotta go right through the head, right? Um, you're not too sure. I guess you just plunk it in the head. Uh, so yeah, totally bad shot there. And then the next one, they turned there. So yeah, definitely crushed it on that one. And survey says. Female! Yay! Alright. Not normally a yay. Um, but I wonder if that counts, because are we in the territory? Oh, good, it counted! Yay! One down! Alright, so I've climbed this big mountain to the east there. It looks like on the map, like if uh, this helps anybody um, or not here, there's a little campsite up here, and there's this one little pond that's a dedicated drink zone for this uh, gray wolf group here. And I think the other one's over here, I'm not sure. But I'm going to crest this mountain here, and uh, maybe they regroup there. I'm going to take a look anyways. 
Oh, geez, they were right down by that water. Ooh, was it some kind of sheep? Chamois, I think? Yeah. Uh, they were right down there drinking, too. See if I can keep an eye on them. We can get another sheep, maybe. We're going to regroup around here and probably going to keep journeying a bit more than that, yeah. I should be able to keep an eye on those, see where they stop. Okay, I'm in a good range now. We've got four, it looks like. I think there's one right behind. No, that's a rock. There's only three? No, four there. That is not a very big group at all. I think I encountered this one before. Oh no, there's a guy down here. Alright, well, he's really close though. Alright, I'm going to get up on this rock. And, uh, how's the wind? The wind's perfect for this. Just need to kind of analyze them here and see, because we're looking at uh, neck and stomach kind of thing here. That looks female, male. Female, I think. Wait, I need my better scope out for this. There, that's a bit better. Uh, man, it's hard. Pretty sure that's a male one there. Those both are going to be female. I'm pretty sure. And then, one down here. I think it's a male as well. I'm going to lose sight on him, though. I, if I had to guess, the one closest is the oldest one. Really hard to tell. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this close one that's coming out here. So I'm pretty sure that's female in the back. Female. The male's in the front there, I think. Uh, but maybe younger? I can't really tell the ages, though. I mean, this guy in the shade kind of looks younger. But uh, if I don't move, I get really loud am ambience here. Uh, I'm going to take this guy. He's an easier shot. And I'm pretty sure he'd be the oldest one out of them all. I guess stomach seems to come out. I gotta keep doing this to make the sound go away, but uh, let's put the 223 through him here. Oh, I was gonna put another one in him, but I only one bullet in the clip. Uh, hopefully, that was a kill shot. I can't really see blood coming off of him there. So this could be interesting. I can also see where they're going to stop, too. Okay, they stopped up there, but... Um, uh, I won't be able to tell which one I shot, right? Uh, since they don't really show that they're wounded. I'm just going to run down here quick and take a look. Yeah, I don't think that's a kill shot. Uh, darn, alright. That was close range. I should have been able to get that one. I was going to take a look, see how I messed that one up. Yeah, he was kind of stepping forward as the shot went, and I was already aimed um, back a bit. Uh, so I think it might have caught the side of the lung, but I think it's more like a grazing lung shot if I hit it. So probably some cavity damage to the left lung. Um, but then it would have went probably below. So I'm not, not too surprised there in that shot. I should aim more forward. It's that thing that always kind of gets me. I, I'm uh, always so used to trying to avoid the shoulder blade that I aim too far back. I have to start uh, trying to shoot through it, I think, sometimes. And I know approximately about where they stopped. I did mark it up here. Um, I just I don't know if I'm going to be able to get close enough without them spooking again, though. And then... I really wish they had an animation of like a wounded one, uh, so you could tell which one you hit. Because uh, right now they're all going to look just like nothing happened, right? I heard a stick break, but I think it was just one. Just like a normal one. They should be right up here. If I go slow, maybe they'll let out an alert sound. 
There they are. Now here's the trick. How on earth am I going to get up here? See more of them. The thing about Ranger difficulty, sometimes you just have to take the one that you can. Because I think this one's playing Century Duty. Uh, just because there's no way... I mean, I can go up there. Oh. Oh no. So that one snapped a twig while walking, but did sort of show that they're over here. Alright, so I think I will try to, to swing up there, but then... Uh, just, let's see. Then the wind might be blowing at them. Oh well, all one can do is try. Oh, I spooked him. I spooked him. Here, I hear them all clicking there. I thought I was wide enough. Um, if I stand up here, maybe I can get eyes on them running and see where they stop. So I think I lost that group. So that was completely hunter error. That was a bad shot by me. Um, but that's what that was. And I acknowledge um, that is a problem I have. Um, so... Probably from previous hunting games. Um, some hunting games in the past really punish you for hitting that shoulder bone. Uh, so I think I'm just uh, programmed to really focus on missing that shoulder bone. So I always aim back too far. Uh, so I'm going to have to start adjusting that somehow. Getting that through my head to go through the shoulder bone. As long as the gun's powerful enough. And the 243 should have been. It was close range. Like There's no real excuse. I mean, it was a heavy quarter forward. Um... But if I just aimed through the shoulder bone, uh, it, it would have dropped a lot. Like, it would have dropped fairly soon. Um, but I don't know where that group went. But I located one down by the water, though. It's not the same group. It's different. I don't think they would have ran that far. Uh, right here. So maybe I can redeem myself a little bit. I just need to set up an approach. Actually, it's probably simple enough just to shoot across the lake. I right, like to call it a lake, a little pond, I guess, a little drinking hole. Uh, probably just uh, take a shot from over here. This should be simple enough. Should be, he says. Oh, I'm getting warning calls. At least I think that's the warning calls. And it's not these guys. There's a group closer, which is probably the one I spooked. Um... I think they're right in front of me. Right down this little ledge here. Probably going to end up spooking them again trying to peek over here. I'm certain that call came in front of me. And that they're too far away for that call. Okay, am I blind? I'm looking all over here. And not seeing them. I, I am certain I'm getting yelled at right in front of me here. But there is another like little cliff thing right here. Like, are they just over it? Or are my ears playing tricks on me? I check make sure I got my headset on the correct way around. Yep. <laughs> there was there was one time I had the headset on backwards, right? Yeah, right here on the left and left on the right, so everything was reversed. Just confusing me. Um. Oh, there they go. So I spooked them. Where are they running? I don't even see them coming out. There they go. So they, yeah, they're, they were down there. My ears were not lying to me. That's the same group. So I spooked them again. So the wounded one's in there. There's the fat one to the right. Fat one, fat one, fat one. Three fat ones. Now I can watch where these guys go. Oh, they didn't run very far. Um, interesting. Alright, so that's my new group, I guess. I mean... Hmm. Alright, see if I can get better eyes on these guys. 
the other group I was watching is now moving out from the drink zone. What time is it? 10, 11. Um, when do they move out? I forget, isn't it? No, I can't remember now. They shouldn't be moving out yet, right? Yeah, they don't go to sleep till 1 o'clock. Maybe they're just diddling around? I wonder, yeah, I know they're coming back. Alright, I guess they're just playing. Alright. Um, an approach. I guess I'm going to swing up there. Alright, if my calculations are correct, and they're probably not, they should be just over this ledge here. Oh, they are too. Well, one is anyways. Oh, here they all are. Alright, good. Now it's got to pick out the fat one. See, they really need to have an animation showing one wounded, right? Like just being unhappy or something? Alright, and take me a moment here to analyze these guys. Okay, I'm not going to be able to tell which one is the one I shot. Female, female, male, male. Male broadside here, female here. I'm just going to take the broadside one. The horn size all look the same. And I can't tell any more from the angle I have. It's really difficult. Like those two look identical. Alright, time to uh, not mess up a shot here. Okay, it's going to be a little over one out. Oops, I'm going to mark just in case, being super careful here. Of course, he's going to be by a rock. See, he stepped again. You bugger. <laughs> uh, I'm going to just hope that caught the back of the lung. Still don't see blood, though. Same thing. I'm going to be cursed today doing that with that aiming at the back with center torso and then them moving. Okay, he's just going to stop there. I could just wait for him to turn and do another one. Okay, it's this one there, and I got wolves howling. And I need a wolf again. Uh, but I do want to get this guy. So we're 200. We're going to get a bit of a drop. 243 is not much. Heavy wind to the right. Alright, let me try to make a shot work here. Okay, that has got to have been better. I ignored the shoulder bone and just went right long. There he goes. Alright, good. Alright, he's up by that big rock. And I'm getting wolves howling here and barking. Let me see if I can get a direction on them. Either right here. Right here. Alright. Uh, well, one, two, alright, here we go. Let's complete this mission now. So all I gotta do is locate a small one. They're coming to me. Uh, wind's going at them though. Alright. Man, I don't got much experience with wolves. Uh, okay, I just gotta pick out a tiny one. Right, the encyclopedia says it's hard to tell the females from the males unless they're standing right beside each other. Which is supposed to be a little shorter. See, this one looks small here. But these ones are all together. Can I pick one out that's smaller? That front one looks smaller than this one. I think this is a female here. I think so. That's pink blood, good. You go down. You're gonna be a female. That's yeah, just a practice shot on a moving one. I think that was long as well. How come you're not going down? What's, oh, there she goes. Alright, yay, okay. There she goes. 
All right. All right, come on, be a female. Do I got the mission selected? I do. All right. I'm kind of looking big right now, though. First, let's take a look. The first shot was indeed good. And I, and I did miss the shoulder bone. Uh, that was good, though. All right, good shot there. A second shot on the move. Yeah, always farther back than I think it's going to be uh, on the move. Okay. That's okay, though. Uh, actually, no, that was a bad shot. Horrible shot. In between two lungs. Um, well, the left lung was already knocked out. I couldn't do any more damage to it. Okay, no problem. Uh, come on, female. Yay! All right, good. So that should be... Mission like, lost like half the meat. Um, all right, no problem. Sell. Yay, mission complete. Good. I think maybe that's all we have to do for... Uh, Haley, maybe, and I gotta go pick up this sheep which fell down by a rock somewhere uh, over here. I do have it marked. Okay, so here's uh, the chamois. So we're gonna analyze this here. Um, hopefully, it's the one I shot the first time. Um, but if you can learn anything from the shooting in this episode, is don't be like me. Uh, Try not to shoot too far back, and don't worry too much about that shoulder bone, because I bet you, when I look at this, um, it's either going to be skimming the lung or missing completely on the back on the back portion of the lung. So let's take a look here. So two shots. So I, this is not the one I first hit. Here, right there. See? Too far back. Uh, and not enough damage. What's it hitting? Stomach here? Stomach intestines. Horrible shot. Uh, that was a step forward, and I knew that. Uh, like I was I was aiming here right like when I'm looking at it here's the shoulder bone this is where I'm putting the sight to cut right behind that shoulder bone and in um, much like the wolf I just did there shooting right in here uh, but they're always stepping and if they're in motion man it gets me though because it's something's different from other games right the, that usually that little step doesn't mean so much um, I don't know what it is, like a little delay from like cl from clicking the mouse to shooting. I'm not really too sure, uh, but this gets me a lot. Um, what I got to do is I've got to ignore that shoulder bone. Uh, I don't want it though, because it's good practice to be able to shoot around it, right? But it's it's getting me more often than not, and that's what's happening there. Um, the next shot, see? Ignore the shoulder bone, went right into it. Well, I guess I. You know what? That pretty much missed the shoulder bone too, but that's that's what I'm always worried about there. So that one I just kind of ignored through. And the 243's got so much power, I, you know, I'm worried about it for no reason. Uh, so that's the lesson for today. Um, what do we got here? We got an adult male, so pretty young. He still looked pretty chubby though. Um, I don't know. I gotta, you gotta, I gotta be able to see these guys more often, right? But low fitness. So far, we're doing pretty good on the calling. Getting a little bit of money, not a whole lot, um, but I got to run back to McKaylee's house uh, quickly, and maybe that's that mission, and I can finally unlock that area. All right, what did I say, McKaylee? No, it's McKaylee's house. There we are. My favorite little house. In we go. Do we got a big thank you? Oh no, we got a whole big letter here. Great. Oh no, it's one of these. Gotta get. The specific animal, like the antler, or the rifle in the antler animal. <sighs> I got a harvest a 12 year old black wolf. Does it show me whereabouts he is? Yes, it does. Alright, well, this is going to be uh, for another day, I think. Uh, so, yeah, that was a pretty good hunt. Got some sheep, got some wolves, got that mission out of the way, and now I got probably even a more annoying one to do. But, <laughs> well, they're not really annoying. They're just challenging, but the challenge is good. Uh, so, yeah, like always, thank you very much for watching, and take care.